Are you a Bigfoot fan? Are you thinking about watching Sasquatch Sunset? You have come to the right place. Keep watching for an in-depth review of this movie. Welcome to Strange Lore. If you are a fan of the mysterious and unusual, please subscribe to join the expedition. Hello my friends, this is Forrest Raven from Strange Lore bringing you an in-depth spoiler-free review. So you don't have to worry about any plot secrets. Well, not that you would have to worry about that anyway because this movie has absolutely no plot. Sasquatch Sunset attempts to weave a tale about a family of Sasquatch creatures resembling oversized apes dwelling in the vast and tranquil wilderness. Led by directors David and Nathan Zellner, the film endeavors to blend humor with moments of empathy yet struggles to find its footing amidst a mishmash of tones and themes. By the way, this trail that we are walking is the same trail where actual Bigfoot sightings have recently occurred, and if you stick around until the end I will post an end screen of a recent video where I show signs and tracks of Bigfoot nearby. The story unfolds as we follow the daily lives of these cryptid beings, traversing through dense forests and rugged mountains. The family dynamic is central, with moments of familial bonding juxtaposed with crude humor and bizarre antics. The main problem here is that Sasquatch is being made to act like a human pretending to be a chimpanzee, and for anyone who follows strange lore or is in the Bigfoot community, we all know our furry friend is more human-like than ape-like, and this movie unfortunately treats them simply as big dumb animals. It could have done so much more. Despite the presence of recognizable actors like Jesse Eisenberg and Riley Keough, their performances are largely overshadowed by the cumbersome fur suits and prosthetics they don. Their efforts to convey emotion through grunts and gestures struggle to resonate with the audience, resulting in characters that feel more like caricatures than relatable individuals. Sasquatch Sunset ambitiously tries to emulate the style of a nature documentary, capturing the majestic beauty of the wilderness with sweeping shots of towering trees and misty valleys. However, the film's narrative lacks coherence, veering erratically between moments of genuine insight into the Sasquatch's plight and gratuitous displays of bodily functions. While the cinematography succeeds in showcasing the natural splendor of the environment, it fails to compensate for the film's shortcomings. There is almost no plot. Prepare to sit through an hour and a half of humans in Bigfoot costumes, pretending to be chimpanzees and walking around the woods. The picturesque landscapes serve as a stark contrast to the film's crude humor and disjointed storytelling, leaving viewers feeling disoriented and unsatisfied. The creatures are treated as if they have never encountered nature before and are experimenting with everything for the first time which makes no sense considering they are adult Sasquatch and have been living in nature their whole lives. Sasquatch Sunset falls short of its aspirations, delivering a jumbled and ultimately unsatisfying cinematic experience. Despite its attempts to blend humor and empathy, the film struggles to strike a balance, leaving audiences with more questions than answers and a lingering sense of disappointment. Here is that end screen I was talking about, if you want to see some real Bigfoot signs I found along the trail a few weeks ago, thanks for watching and subscribe for more strange lore.